for therapy to the masses, you all see my hair more than I do, because I'm like moving, driving, doing, hanging, schlepping, scrubbing. Everyone else sees my hair more than I do. And it's that they are reacting to the fact that I have something and I have the balls to do something that they don't. Because we all could pick a color that we love, bleach our hair, and dye it something crazy. There's some awesome people in this audience that have already done it. And if you feel like yourself with it, no one will look at you different because it is who you are. If you, if you knew my friends, they would say, I could not picture you with anything else. It's just not you. So this is who I am, and I'm very cozy with that. So I'm going to talk about the word velocity because I feel like when your eyes on the prize, you're doing what you love, you're surrounded with the things that you love. Mine is color, uh, hard work, good people, um, inspiration. I feel like if I stay in that place where I'm always looking for inspiration, I don't have a TV and I'm on TV. <laughs> I don't even turn it on. I have no idea what programs are out there. I don't listen to the news. I don't read the newspaper. I live in my own color tunnel of what I need to do to self-preserve, to keep up the life that I have. Everyone relies on me to be a constant wheel of creative motion to design and produce for them <laughs> like, and myself. I need this. Where do you get that? How do you do this? What do you think about that? So my service to my clients and myself is by shutting myself down from what I know could distract me from a creative flow that needs to do what I do. So because of that, the universe has provided this amazing velocity. As soon as they saw that I had my eye on the prize, and this is exactly what I was doing, and I just kept it up, and I was fucking consistent, okay? <laughs> fucking consistent, because as creatives, we have to be reliable and consistent. Because creativity is here, which is not of this world, and consistency and velocity and accountability is here. And so we have to kind of whoosh, bring them together so we can produce and be. And the cool thing is, is with this velocity, amazing things can happen in your life. Point the arrow. Just focus, think, dream all the time about what it is that you want to do and who it is that you really are and what makes you happy. Fuck everybody else. OK? Because it's loud. It's loud. OK? It's so loud. If I listened to everything that anyone has ever said to me, I would not be standing here right now. I just wouldn't. I would not be dressing like this. I wouldn't have the life that I have. But I shut out the noise, and I only listen to what I wanted. And this is where I am. It's not any better than anyone else in this room or on this planet. It's just a position of somebody that knew what they wanted. So just know what you want. Um, I think that process is important because, speaking of not listening to anyone else and fuck everybody else, when you're a business person, you need to be very business-like and you have to do things very businessy. and I do not do that. I, I tried so hard when I was in my 20s to be businessy, and I, had, I bleached my hair blonde uh, for about six months and I tried to lose tons of weight to be super skinny and wear black suits, and I was like, ugh, oh, this is so not me. And so now I just show up in my schleppy clothes. I probably still have paint on me from the thing I just came from, and I show up with my huge white sketchbook and a million colored markers, and as people are talking to me about their project, it could be a company as big as Fisher Price, or it could be the girl next door that just wants me to help her with her bathroom reno. I am literally drawing as I'm talking to them, like, okay, yeah, this is okay, tiles this size, uh-huh, what about this, uh-huh. And my process is to draw and talk while I work. And so the reason I'm telling you this is I catalog all my books. I have stacks of them. And it's like my brain on paper. And so putting your brain and your thoughts on paper is a magical thing because it makes it happen. I look back now at some of the projects I took on, and I look at the notes, and the notes come to life. It's amazing. I'm like, whoa. I made that happen like two years ago. Those notes and that client wanted me to do her whole house. And at the time, I was like, I'm not going to do the whole fucking house. And then I do the whole house. 
And it's cool. So think of something that you do that feels powerful to you and do it and use it as your process and screw what anyone else thinks is businessy because business is business. You can be professional, you can show up with orange hair, you can show up with, I, I even think if I show up to my client's house in a pirate costume, they wouldn't even react <laughs> because they don't even care anymore. They're like, okay, yeah, she's gonna get it done. Yeah, okay, good to see you. I like your hat, like, it's cool. So it's not about what you, yes, it's nice to present yourself a certain way. Yes, you should look professional, clean, brush your hair, but you get the point. Um, happy place. This is a little fun exercise I'm gonna share. This is just a little snippet. Having a bad day, somebody said something not nice. I hate it, I feel like the world is dark. I feel like I'm by myself. I'm in my Jeep, I'm holding the wheel. I'm like, okay, breathe. And then I start to just scream out loud all the things I love the most. Rainbows, wiener dogs, running water. <laughs> and like, just start saying it. Bangles, little India, Indian food, my friends, my family, my niece, my niece, my niece. Um, and that makes me feel instantly better. So think about being positive and think about making yourself happy. Don't think about making other people happy. Making other people happy will in turn happen because you are happy. You do not need to make other people happy. You need to make yourself happy. And then other people will be so freaking happy to be around you. I have this awesome group of friends. And I feel my birthday just happened in August. And they all showed up at this restaurant. And I started to cry because I was like, this is actually, it was the coolest because I was surrounded with all the most amazing people that I love the most. And they want to be around me. And I want to be around them. And it's magical. So be good to yourself and people will be good to you. I paint, something I do, one of the many things I do is I paint. And painting is like a language for me. I've painted since I could use a brush. And I didn't take formal training in art. I'm gonna keep saying that because everyone thinks they're not an artist, and we all, I don't care if it's with numbers, I don't care what your art is, we are all artists. And so I urge you, no matter what your art is, to take the world as the hugest point of inspiration every single day of your life when you wake up. Think of using the world as your inspiration. And why I say that is, if I can't figure out how to arrange a room, mix a color, figure out someone's fall wardrobe, uh, do an event, pr problem solve, I just get really quiet and I look around. If you look at how the sky bleeds or how the light hits trees or what someone else is wearing or how a building is constructed. The world is so filled with inspiration, it's insane. And people just walk by. They just walk by. I see some amazing things in my life and I'm like, does anyone else see this? And I'm like the crazy person on the street, like, did you see this guy? Look at his outfit. Like, and he's like, yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> I'm like, you're amazing, you look amazing. And if you hang out with me, you will know. I talk to strangers, I hug random people, I don't care. I love hugging people because I like showing love. I think love is the most important thing. You hear it, it's cheesy, everyone says it, it's on bumper stickers and chapters into ghost posters, and it sucks because it's ruined it. But love is important. Love is so freaking important. I have a bumper sticker on my car that says, love wins. And I drive around with that and a bunch of other crazy messages. But the reason I think love wins is because when you love people, or you wake up and you love yourself, you love your family, you can find love in what you're doing, your job, your boss, your friends, it doesn't matter. The chair you sit in, the car you drive, the food you eat. If you find love in what you're doing, it's like this, it's like bunnies that are procreating. Hearts everywhere. Love, 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 love. And the hearts are not just hearts. They are rainbow hearts. They are glittering. They're popping. Confetti comes out. You're showered in the shit. It's amazing. <laughs> so love it. Love it. When you read my Instagrams now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will hear my voice saying the things I say because you will know that it is real. I am covered in glitter. It's true. I will be covered in gl glitter if I ever say I'm covered in glitter. You have to live your truth. Live your truth. Be you. 
Don't try to be someone else. Stop comparing yourself to other people. We do that all the time as creatives. Well, this person did something else, and I don't know how they got where they got, and how do they have this, and I don't have that, and I went to the same school, and shut up. <laughs> you are you. You will always just be you. Your process, your program, who you are, and where you're going, totally different. So just be there. Be on the path. Do the stupid job. It'll teach you something. Be friends with that person that's ticking you off. They're going to teach you something. Cut all your hair off. Grow it back. Eat the weird food. Go on a strange trip. It's your life. Do it. It's just it's why we're here. I hate when we do the whole I'm so great thing, because I'm not trying to tell you to do the whole I'm so great thing, because I don't do that. Talking in front of people, I don't want you to think I think I'm so great. What I think is so great is I have a message to share, and I think my, that my message is great. So think about that. Think about, I have a message that's so great. And I'm really excited to be the vessel that gets to carry that message. I'm so blessed that I am this person that gets to bring this along. Because that's how I feel every day. I don't say, I'm so great. Everyone loves me. I, I go, Okay, I gotta get up, I gotta stretch, I gotta get that set up, because I got an amazing event to set up for this bride and she's gonna pee her pants. <laughs> or this woman's countertop is getting installed today and I am jazzed, because she is going to love it. Or this person is now walking in more confidence today because I spent five hours with them naked in their closet and now they love the way that they dress and they feel like they can bring that into the world. That's amazing. So, how are we doing? We still feeling the vibes? Okay. The colored streamers are over your head on purpose. It's like you're penetrating the color. Mm -hmm. It's all like this big, you know, thing is all happening. Okay, gratitude. I, this is a good way to end. I, you hear gratitude, you hear Oprah, you see all the shit. Gratitude, people have the gratitude shit everywhere. I feel like I'm a walking juxtaposition and why I say that is because I like junk and I like things that have no value and I like to sprinkle it with glitter and diamonds and that's life. That's the shit and the luxury. It's all shit and luxury mixed together. <laughs> all the time. I live the shit and the luxury. It is juxtaposition city in my life. It is, I spent a dollar on my entire outfit but these boots were five grand. It is, I have a multi-million dollar house and they couldn't afford the furniture so we just got stole everything off the side of the street. It is so many juxtapositions, this life is a juxtaposition so enjoy it. Don't have the position in your life that everything needs to come from the same place because it doesn't. It comes around you, it is everything about you, it is like a rainbow and you just take all the colors and you accept all things and it will be this amazing array of gorgeousness. Even if it's different, it is yours. Gratitude is part of that. Being grateful for the shit and being grateful for the luxury. It's all the same. It's treating two imposters the same. So, don't just be grateful for your friends and all the stupid stuff. Be grateful for things that actually matter like running water, heated water, color. Color treats us so well every day. Color is something that unites us and invigorates our souls. You can be grateful for color. You respond to it. It's something that you don't even know you're responding to, but you are. You can be grateful for gas, for each other, for the ability to do what you want to do, eat when you want to eat. It's, it's endless, the amount of things you can be grateful for because the world is based on that. So here's the conclusion, friends. First of all, thank you for listening. Um, huge, huge love to all of you because this has been such a high honor and <laughs> I've been feeling you all week. <laughs> So this is what I know. Go with your dream. I told myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overthink anything. Your gut knows what to do. Beauty happens on budgets. <laughs> Love is the most important thing. Glitter makes everything better, because it does. And always look for rainbows. And I love Roald Dahl. Who loves Roald Dahl? This is one of his quotes that I, I live by. And above all, watch with glittering eyes the whole world around you because the greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely places. 
And those who do not believe in magic will never find it. <laughs> so go find it. Go find your magic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.